Who wants to edit faster in DaVinci Resolve? Well, of course you do. Then you need to customize your keyboard. So in this video, we'll go through about 10 keyboard customizations. Kind of depends on how you count them. And over 37 shortcuts and mouse tricks to get you editing much, much faster. Now, if you need a more thorough explanation for some of these shortcuts, we'll have individual videos for some of them in the description below. First, come to DaVinci Resolve and open keyboard customization. If you have a custom keyboard, you can modify it or select DaVinci Resolve to create a new one. Click B, click Blade Edit Mode, select the keystroke, and we're going to move this to C for cut. So press C on your keyboard. Then click A, select the command, select the keystroke, and move it to V. Assign it, click V, click select nearest edit point, click the keystroke, and change it to A. Then we'll switch S and U, change slip mode to U, and change edit point type to S. Select control, click B, click razor, remove the shortcut, and press B on your keyboard. Turn off control, click Q, click the command, and change the keystroke to the tilde key. Assign, click the tilde key, select undo, and remove the tilde from the keystroke. Click W, select the command, and either remove the shortcut or change it to H. I seldom use this mode, so I don't need a shortcut. Plus, you can always just select it here. Click Q, type in start, expand ripple, select the keystroke, and press Q. Click W, type end, expand ripple, and change the keystroke for end to playhead to W. Then we're going to switch backspace and delete because it makes more sense. Click backspace, remove anything in your search box, click the command, click the highlighted keystroke, and press delete. Then click delete, click ripple delete, remove both shortcuts, and press backspace. Click backslash, type add, select timeline, select add video only transition, and either change or add backslash as a keystroke. Then select add audio only transition, and we'll add shift backslash, and add control shift backslash for add transition. Click save and name your keyboard. And you're ready to edit much faster. Now in your neutral position, you have quick access to your razor tool, arrow tool, split tracks, and play pause with the space bar. Press C for the razor tool and cut your tracks. Press V for the arrow tool and trim your edits. Move the playhead where you want to add an edit, cut the tracks, split the tracks, whatever you like to call it. Press B and all the tracks are cut at the playhead. Select a clip and press B to cut only that clip at the playhead. Press Q to trim the top or head of all clips at the playhead. Press W to trim the tail at the playhead. Use your left and right arrow keys to go forwards or backwards one frame. Use your up and down arrows to snap to the next or previous edit point. Press A to select the nearest edit point. Use up and down to move the selection. Press S to choose the type of edit point, left, right, or center. Use your left and right angle brackets to trim clips or roll the edit point. Select a clip and use the left and right angle brackets to nudge the clip one frame. Select an edit point and type with A and S. Then press backslash to add your default transition to a video clip. Shift backslash to add the default transition to an audio clip. Or control shift backslash for video and audio transitions. Control Z to undo, 
control shift Z to redo, drag a marquee selection across several clips and press backslash to add the default transition across all video clips or shift backslash for audio or control shift backslash for everything. Press I to mark an endpoint. Press O to mark an out. Press X to mark a clip in and out. Press Alt I to remove an endpoint. Press Alt O to remove an out point. Or press Alt X to remove both in and out points. Press D to deactivate or activate a clip. Press Ctrl D in the color page to activate or deactivate a node. Hold Alt and drag a clip to create a copy. Select the clip or multiple clips. Press Ctrl C to copy and press Ctrl V to paste at the playhead. Copy a clip with Ctrl C. Select another clip and press Alt V to paste the attributes, things like position, zoom, speed, color, etc. Select the clip and press delete to delete the clip or clips. Select the clip and press backspace to ripple delete. Press the tilde key to switch between the source and timeline viewer. Press P for full screen or Alt F in the color page for the enhanced viewer or Shift F in the color page for the full page viewer. Scroll the mouse wheel up and down to zoom in and out. Press down on the scroll wheel and drag to reposition your view. Press Z to fit the full video in the viewer. Hold Alt and click on the volume line to add keyframes to audio. Use the left and right brackets to snap to the next or previous keyframe. Press home to go to the beginning of your timeline. Press end to go to the end of the timeline. Tilt the mouse wheel left and right to scroll the timeline or hold control and scroll up and down. Hold alt and scroll up and down or tilt to zoom the timeline. Hold shift and scroll up and down to change the size of your tracks. And that is it. Once you apply the Benoni method to your keyboard and learn the other shortcuts, you'll be able to breeze through any project at lightning speed. DaVinci Resolve is the best modern NLE out there, and for those who don't know, it's also completely free. So be sure to pick it up for yourself, and I'll have a link in the description below. For this video, we used the free version of DaVinci Resolve version 17.2.1.